are looking at three of the fastest accelerating vehicles in the history of the world. The whole idea of a fast pickup isn't anything new, but this, <laughs> this is some next level stupidity. Hold on, yeah, this way, yeah. Yep. luxurious, not to mention spacious, pickup truck just ripped off a quarter mile run quicker than a Lexus LFA would have, without any of the Lexus's unsightly screaming. In the process, it ripped off a three second flat zero to 60, which means it would have been quicker than a McLaren F1. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, an F1 is rear wheel drive. Well, how about this? Had there been a 1500 horsepower Bugatti Chiron next to it, and the old man driving that car forgot to put it in launch control, the Rivian would have beat it. Think about that. When you turn around and you see the Ram TRX 165 feet back that way, 165 feet is like two tennis courts or three bowling alley alleys, or 18.355 table tennis tables. And my mother says I don't know anything about sports. Anyway, that 702 horsepower Ram was, until a couple of seconds ago, the most powerful and the quickest pickup truck ever made. It is a 6,900 pound apartment building on wheels that will dust a Ferrari F40 to 60 by a half a second. This thing's quarter mile time is about the same as the original R35 Nissan GTR, Godzilla. And that are the same speed. Nuts. Please don't feel too bad for the Raptor because a Raptor R is coming with a V8. That has a twin turbo V6 that makes a lot of horsepower, 450 of them which incidentally is about the same as that Nissan GTR. And that thing sounds the way the Nissan GTR always should have sounded and never did. But it ain't enough. It's 356 feet back when the Rivian crosses the line. Imagine losing a race by 356 feet. Imagine running 356 feet. I'd call a cab. Make no mistake though, that thing is unconscionably quick. It is a 6,000 pound off-road SUV with knobbly tires and 14 inches of suspension travel that will dust a Volkswagen GTI down the quarter mile. And then it can turn around, run over the GTI, and its occupants won't even feel the thump. There you have it, Ford versus Dodge versus Chevy Rivian. We're missing General Motors. After all, GM started this. The GMC Cyclone was the quickest pickup truck in the world for almost 30 years. With the Turbo V6, I think it's only fair to race it against the twin Turbo V6 Raptor. And bonus, the GMC will be driven by the very man who created the Cyclone. No, that's actually him. What do you want? You missed a page. Go back. I mean, I missed a page. You want me to do what? Uh, 
dumb question. Uh, do we have insurance for this? No, no, don't care. All right then. that was dumb. Also, it was awesome, especially if you're Team Ram. More importantly, what you just saw was a clear illustration of just how powerful that Rivian is. Loaded with 6,000 pounds worth of Cyclone, Trailer, and Kim, and it'll still beat the Raptor down the quarter mile. But the Cyclone wasn't meant to sit on a trailer. It was Ferrari fast back in its day, and unless you're driving something that does zero to 60 in the threes, I'd recommend not trying to race one. Here's why. What have we learned other than trucks are fast? Well, let's see. Our insurance company is probably gonna drop us, which is ironic because we're an insurance company. Uh, the fire and safety guy passed out and I'm probably fired. Like and subscribe. But I, am I really fired?